Welcome back, everyone, to day number two of the Super Week action of the North American LCS. We want to welcome the analyst desk, Cloud9's Jungler Medios. How you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing great. So tell me about that game. You're facing the, uh, like, 17th iteration of CLG. How would you guys think going into that game? Uh, we've scrimmed them a bunch leading up to this, and they've actually done really well against us in scrims. And so we prepared really hard for the match, and it was a hard game, but we came out on top. Could you explain some of that preparation to me? what you kind of went through your minds? All right, well, I guess preparing for what went through our minds is we tried to target, like, their newest player, Hotshot, with our bans, pretty much, and he hasn't played the role that long, so we thought if we could ban out his comf comfort champs, we could get him on a champ he was a little less comfortable with. Mm -hmm. and then we were able to net a pretty big advantage just through mid because it was a good matchup for us. We got Hotshot to blow his flash in the beginning, and then Hai was able to win his lane pretty hard. Yeah, and with Hai winning that lane pretty hard, you had the mid lane pushing really hard. With your Thresh, Lucian picks bottom, you're trying to push that bottom lane really hard and really get control of the map. But what went wrong? Talk me through that. Okay, so we were against their bottom lane, which was Annie Jinx, which doesn't have any innate escapes. And mm -hmm. Thresh is really good at setting up ganks along with Elise. So we tried making a lot of plays bot, and some of them worked. But a few times, I think we underestimated the damage of Annie Jinx, and we sort of just died while we were trying to bait. And we lost a little bit down there, so we messed up a bit. But overall, uh, I got pretty fed out of it, so I was able to make a lot of plays. So how do you recover then when you're against a team who uh, they pride themselves in their AD carry, you've got a kind of a fed jinx going on there. How do you come back when you're like, well, their late game's scary now? Well, he never actually got that fed. He yeah. had a lot of kills, but most of them were on a Thresh who was kind of like feeding all day. So <laughs> it wasn't that much gold. And he got an early chain vest just because our Zed was such a threat. And we still had a lot of magic damage, you know, from Mundo and Elise. So he never really got rolling that hard. Yeah, and there was a point in the game where it seemed like CLG might have actually been coming back because you guys had that early lead. We have a clip of actually the team fight where CLG seemed to catch you out a little bit. And I want to hear what your thoughts are. If we can get the clip up on the screen. Uh, talk me through what your team was thinking when this happened and how it happened. Okay. So... On this play, we mistimed Annie's flash because we thought it wasn't up, and so okay. we got caught off guard by the flash triggers a bit. And there's a bit of miscommunication. Lemon said he was throwing the lantern to high, but high was running up. So we got caught there, and then balls went in and died too. So it was just kind of a misplay on our part. But uh, right. we luckily didn't lose any objectives on it because we were the ones pushing. Well, I guess we lost a couple of mid turrets, but not directly. Like we yeah. It could have been worse if they were pushing on us. And at that point, CLG was up 10 kills to 8, and it seemed like they'd kind of turned it. But after that, I mean, that was 23 minutes into the game. You ended it at 30 minutes. How did you turn it around so quickly seven minutes later and win the game? Well, we just tried to play on our strengths. You know, we had a really strong Zed, and no one on their team could really 1v1 him, so we just sent him off in the side lane and let him mm -hmm. slip push. And we did our... They were baiting Baron with their whole team, and so we just basically played the Baron dance, and we came out ahead on it. All right, well, of course, well played in this game. Now, I want to kind of think back to how you guys prepared because uh, we've seen a couple of games from you guys. This one looked more like your old style. You've got high split pushing on Zed. Of course, you brought out the new stuff with Teemo. Um, how has sort of preseason preparations been going in terms of crafting that new look for Cloud9? We heard you guys were saying that you're making some new strategies, things like that. Okay, so overall, I like the preseason. The one complaint I have about it, though, is that almost all the good initiating champions have been like nerfed to the ground. Like Zach, uh, Mikhail's nerfs Ash. Uh, basically every champion that initiates is nerfed, so all the ones that are played can't really initiate well, so team fights are really awkward nowadays. You just sort of like walk at each other awkwardly until someone hits like a Thresh hook or an Elise cocoon and then you just go in. Mm. So then how do you, how have you then adapted your, your gameplay around this when you're like, well, our, our old diving style isn't nearly as powerful? Uh, you know, we can split push, we can try to get out catches. Um, basically just try to make good plays overall. It's not like, it's easy, I guess, to just sort of dive on them when you're ahead. How much of the earlier Curse game were you able to catch? Because they had a bit of a different team comp with the yeah. Akali, mid lane, and Karthus. How was that one working for them, do you think? Uh, that Curse comp actually seems really strong. They just have yeah. so many threats everywhere. They didn't... It wasn't really a traditional team comp with tanks and stuff. They just sort of had a super-fed Karthus, Akali, Pantheon, and they were just able to kill the other team before they could react. It seemed like a really good comp. Yeah. All right, so Medios, one final question for you then. You guys are starting out with a very good record. You've looked really good as a team so far. Are we going to see a similar sort of record to last split where you guys kind of dominated NA, or what other sort of challenges are there for you guys? Mm, I don't think we'll have quite as good a record as last season. All the teams seem to have gotten a lot better over the break mm. and going forward, so I think we'll probably pick up more losses than last time, but we'll do our best. All right, well, Medios, thank you very much for your time. Good luck in the rest of the season. Of course, we'll see you guys play tomorrow as well. Now, guys, we're going to send it back over to Riven Kobe at the Caster's Desk for the next game.